This is Lisa and I'm going to take a look at my privacy settings in Facebook. Well, once you log in and have an account, it's this arrow here that takes you to privacy settings. There are a number of privacy settings here in uh, that are by default. Uh, you control privacy when you post to um, particular uh, friends and you can also edit your profile to do that. But what I'm going to look at are these settings down here. The default settings should probably be set to friends um, if you already have a Facebook account uh, so that nothing changes there with your ordinary communications. In this screen here, you can set things however you want to. Who can look up your profile? Who can send you a friend request? Who can send you a Facebook message? If you're not normally in Facebook and you don't usually use it, you, you might want to set these to friends only instead of everyone. That will limit uh, this sort of activity to friends, and if you don't add any friends, that will limit the activity completely. The other place to take a look is at the apps and websites. I'm using a couple of apps, but if I, if I weren't, I would simply um, remove these and turn them off. What we're looking for here is how people bring your info into the apps that they use. So in this screen here, if I wanted complete privacy, I would turn everything off. Those are the uh, main settings that you would want to change. Now in order to join the group, uh, you would go to the uh, website of your class and that group is Lisa's History Classes here. This is an open group which means anybody can add. It usually makes me approve whoever is going to add. But what's nice about groups in Facebook is that you can join the group without friending anyone in the class and we can have discussions here whereas the rest of your stuff is kept relatively private. So it's possible to join Facebook just to join a group by using these private privacy settings to turn everything else off and then just being active in the group.